Today we're going to be taking a look at the upgrade process from the 896 toolset to 897. As all of you know, there's a lot of changes that have occurred in the 897 toolset, primarily among them the introduction of Server Manager. So we're going to be on the deployment server today taking a look at how this upgrade process works, getting Server Manager running, and our ultimate goal is going to be to take our, our install here, which is currently um, 8.11 SP1, Tools Release 8.9.6, and upgrading that to 8.9.7. But along with this, we're also going to take our SQL 2000 database and upgrade it to SQL 2005. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to do is to apply the Planner ESU the latest planner ESU to our deployment server. Now one of the very nice things about planner ESUs is unlike traditional ESUs, it's actually applying it to the system right now. It's not the normal spec merge type of process that you go through, at least as it relates to your planner environment. So we'll go ahead and say next there and let this guy run. Now this one should actually go pretty quick. It was only about 8 meg in size, so I'm estimating within a minute or two it should be done. Okay, we've successfully applied the ESU. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. All right, we're going to try logging into our planner environment. So go ahead and change my environment name. Click OK. And we have an invalid environment role pair. Well, what do you want? PSFT plan. Uh, God bless marketing people. Is it JDE? Is it PSFT? All depends on the release you're running. Actually, I guess this had more to do with corporate acquisitions than it did marketing departments. Although any excuse to blame anything on marketing is a good one. Alright, we're going to go to our software updates program. If I'm remembering off the top of my head, that's GH961. Ah, close. Got us within a level of it. Alright, we're now going to take this ESU and we're going to apply it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got to get our little pink checkbox there. We are going to take this ESU and we're going to apply it to our path codes. And in this particular case, we're just going to go for broke. Uh, we're not going to worry about assembling a project at this point. And yes, we will let it run unattended. Click Next. And we're going to wait for it to update our environments.
and we're looking for those magical words completed normally. Music to our ears. Excellent. Okay, we've still got two UBEs running. That R98700 is one of the spec merges that are running. This is where it's actually taking the new code, the new objects, and merging it into central objects for that path code. That's probably going to be our long straw on this operation, is for those to complete. Alright, looks like we have finished up. We'll do a quick perusing of our reports. Looking for that ever important completed normally. And this was for our spec merge for the PD environment. Good. All right, the update has completed successfully. I'm going to click OK and go ahead and close out at this point. Now that we've completed applying the ESU, all that's left are those dreaded special instructions. The first thing the special instructions is telling us to do is to go into our scripts directory for the ESU and to run the special instructions.bat file. So we're going to go ahead and find that now. And there we go, and it instructs us to double click on it. What could happen? Have I upgraded my local database? You know, I really don't think I have. I'm pretty sure this is MSDE, so we are with fear and trepidation going to say yes. I'm sorry, we're going to say no. Now it's performing all manner of ill upon us. All right, there's some additional special instructions out there for SQL 2005. We'll get to those a little bit later. Uh, right now, what we're going to do is we're going to complete the upgrade to tools 897, but we're still going to have our database uh, back in beyond SQL 2000. SQL 2000 for the moment. So we will set those off and come back to it. In our next video we're going to actually apply the 897 tools to our deployment server. The one after that we're going to play with server manager so stick around.